the, the next piece here um, is actually, I suppose this is also related to business rules a little bit. Um, this is around Groovy scripts and the ability to, to write log info um, to the job console. So you're probably asking yourself, what are Groovy scripts? I'll be honest, I don't have a whole lot of experience with Groovy scripting myself, um, but Groovy scripting is a newer language similar to uh, Jython or Ruby, um, and it really opens up a, a bunch of new possibilities here for, for an Oracle developer. Um, so basically, I'll give some background on, on the, the way you can leverage Groovy scripting uh, with uh, PBCS business rules first, and then just kind of talk about the, the logging update here. Um, but really what we're looking at here is PBCS is going to give you basically two functions, uh, that calc manager Groovy string and calc manager Groovy number, um, that allow you then to actually create custom defined functions or CDS directly from a business rule that reference an external Groovy script. So um, obviously you'll use the, the string function you know, when the output would, would return a string. If the output from your CDF would return a number, you would use the, the number uh, function here. Um, but what this is really doing is it's, it's making sure that you have reliable um, scripting for your CDF that you know that you've kind of written yourself so you don't have to worry about any, any third party you know, custom defined functions that um, are promising to do one thing and, and may or may not actually do them. The second thing here is all of the back end pieces that integrate with Java, for example, so like a run Java function and the jar files that you would traditionally need to set up um, you know, on the server itself. In PBCS, all this is set up for you. So migrating from one environment to the next is very seamless. You don't have to worry about inconsistencies um, when moving between environments there. So that's kind of the background on Groovy itself. Um, the specific update here, though, is really around how, how Groovy CDFs are logged um, in the system. So traditionally, anytime um, there's a custom defined function or a CDF, you know, that's called via a business rule, um, it's going to be the, the log output for that will be, you know, somewhere in a back-end file path, you know, that you may or may not have access to control. Um, with these new Groovy script write log info update, you're actually going to get that um, on the, in the job console. So easier for you to access, you know, more of a centralized location for you there, which I think can help, uh, you know, when troubleshooting some of these new enhancements. <laughs>